स्पॉन्सर्ड बाय आर के डी एफ यूनिवर्सिटी Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos while strictly warning China against escalating the South China Sea conflict said on Thursday that the country will not be cowed to silence by Beijing. The statement comes days after two Chinese coast guard ships fired at a Philippine supply boat with water cannons injuring Filipino navy crew members while causing damage to the vessel. Only recently external affairs minister S J Shankar during his visit to the Philippines had expressed India's support for the country's sovereignty amid its maritime dispute with China. The Filipino president further added that his government would take necessary actions against the dangerous attacks by Chinese vessels towards the Philippines saying Filipinos do not yield. Though he did not mention in detail what steps would be taken by Manila, he did mention that the action would be proportionate, deliberate and reasonable in the face of open, unabating and illegal coercive, aggressive and dangerous attacks by China. He further mentioned that the Philippines seeks no conflict with any nation. However, he noted that this does not mean that the country would be cowed to silence. It is noteworthy that the disputed South China Sea is not only claimed by China and the Philippines but by Vietnam, Malaysia, Taiwan and Brunei as well, all of whom share overlapping territories in the resource-rich busy waterway. The dire warning by the Philippines comes during Holy Week, one of the most sacred religious periods in the largely Roman Catholic nation. None of the Chinese officials have yet responded to Manila's stern warning. However, China's defense ministry accused the Philippines of escalating the South China Sea conflict by taking provocative measures and spreading misinformation to mislead the international community. Nations around the world have condemned China for unnecessarily escalating the conflict in the South China Sea by making territorial claims. Recently, external affairs minister S J Shankar who had visited the Philippines expressed India's support for the country's sovereignty amid its maritime dispute with China. Meanwhile, according to the Philippines president, the country is considering deploying advanced military equipment like faster military vessels instead of chartered civilian boats while delivering a new batch of personnel and supplies to the disputed second Thomas Shoal. Notably, the far-flung shoal has been occupied by a small contingent of the Philippines Navy and warships since 1999. However, it has been surrounded by the Chinese Coast Guard and suspected militia vessels.